everyone speaks about vibe coding. But what is it exactly? Instead of coding using AI as a copilot, you will be the copilot. Okay, let's get started and create a new Flutter project. This is the cursor editor. You will have this AI panel. You can choose between agent ask or edit mode, and we will stay with the agent mode. For the first thing, we will just try to generate a to-do list. And that's it. Let's just do this. It just made HTML. Okay, let's fix that. Code generation takes some time. You can take a coffee. This is the first time you see code generated with Cursor. Cursor won't apply any changes without your consent. Okay, now let's launch this. And here it is, our to-do list. So let's create a new task. Make my bed. Oh, nice. Make ammo the task. Okay. Okay, it seems working. Let's check out the code. What the fuck is that code? There is no layer, everything is in the same file. It's even calling API within the view. It's a code made by a kid rolling with space on the keyboard. Okay, let's forget this for now and try to add Firebase. Let's wait a little bit. Cursor is now generating Firebase loading and saving methods and update the previous code with it. The good news is everything has been working. Everything is saved on Firestore like we expected. Okay, it's working, but the code is really bad and we have to do something about it. Basically, AI needs data to be good. It's just doing what you asked for. So as you don't provide any architecture or instructions, AI does what you ask for. It creates a to-do list without any choices. QSO has introduced something called rules. It's a list of markdown files where you will put every instructions to create your software. This is the key to create a great software using AI. Here we are. We have every instruction to create our architecture and better code. If you know what you do with Flutter, now you can just tell him how you work. And so it will stick to your rules. Let's try again to create our to-do list using our set of rules. Because you are using AI, you have to tell everything. It's the pilot, but the pilot is idiot. You have to tell him whatever he needs to do. So here we will give him every rules of our to-do list. You also explain every details that matters inside your code. You can blame AI if you don't explain him really, really great. So here we will tell him because we can delete a task. Only one task can be in doing state. For example, this is one kind of rules. And let's see what he's going to do. Wow. This time I'm impressed. So as you see, it's way better now. The same task is now divided into layers, entities, models, repositories. Our API is in one file. We have our domain. And so now we have our notifier, which is using reboot board. So we can load task, refresh task, it beats, and it's using our user to get its ID and loading all its tasks. This is way better. The code is way more clean and maintainable. This is just because I have, it's just following what I'm asking for. There is this notepad feature. You can create notepad features. So instead of 
following just this and having to remember uh, which file I have to provide him each time I want to pre generate a new module, I can just use this notepad. So for the new module file, I am giving him three rules, the context file, the flutter context file, and the Superbase API files. But if I want to just refer to it, I can just do this like that using new module create me a to do list etc etc okay let's launch it there is on some design error but nothing really unfixable and okay so we can push a new status for each task and let's push another one Everything is persisted. Normally, if I reload, this should be working. Yes. Cursor is impressive. You may be noticed it. It's also checking all my code base to generate what I asked for. This is the agent mode. It's way smarter than the other modes, but it takes a bit more time. My cursor has used all my rules and all my template code. I have included this in the Appearance Kit template, so you can start by coding like me in minutes. Appearance Kit is a template that provides you everything you need to create a profitable mobile app. It includes authentication, onboarding, feedback modules, subscription management, in-app payments, and so on and so on. You will save months and years of learning. And using Cursor, you will also save days and days of course let's make the last experiment we can now provide a photo to cursor so we will create this first design and try to ask cursor to fix the design using this one and see what it's going to do So, oh, as you see, it's just end. Everything is here. I believe it just tried to understand what I asked for, but nothing more. But it understood that I didn't want to use... Well, with our bottom sheets, we have the statues. So we can change the statues right now. So, it's clearly better. See? So now you'd understand that QSO is better when you speak to him than when you provide him any images. So the design to code is actually a bad idea right now. But the changes are pretty amazing. As you see, it has just improved everything, like I said. The task overview is a bit weird, because I never asked for it. That's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something. To support this channel, just leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.